In this session, we are discussing ER diagrams and different symbols used in that. So, there are so many symbols are there which can be used in our ER diagram. We shall go one by one through this particular diagrams. See, the first one is the entity set which will be denoted by one rectangle and the entity will be written within that particular rectangle. So, this is a rectangle and the entity name will be written within the rectangle. This is a weak entity set, weak entity set do not have any kind of primary key, it does not have any primary key, it is having a partial key. We shall have a separate video where we shall discuss weak entity set more into details. Relationship set will be denoted by diamond and the relationship set name will be written inside. Identifying relationship will be denoted by this double diamond and this identifying relationship name will be written inside. In case of primary key, we know that attribute will be enclosed within ellipse and in case of primary key, it will be having underlined. So, A attribute name and it will be underlined. In case of many to many relationship, there will be no arrow across this edges. So, in case of many to many relationship, there will be no arrow across this edges. In case of one to one relationship, there will be arrows on both directions as it has been shown. In case of many to one relationship, there will be arrow from many to one. So, obviously, in case of one to many relationship, this arrow will not be here, but that there will be one arrow here. So, always remember from many to one, the arrow will be directed. So, we have discussed this one. Next one is the role indicator. The role indicator will be shown in this way. So, this is my relationship set, this is my entity set and the role name will be written across the link or line. Attribute will be denoted in this way. Multi-valued attribute will be denoted by double ellipse. Derive attribute whose value will be calculated by some calculations by some business rule will be enclosed within dashed ellipse. Total participation of entity set in the relationship will be denoted by double lines in between the relationship and the entity. Discriminating attribute of weak entity set that is the partial key will be denoted by A with the dashed underline. Many to one relationship we have discussed earlier. Cardinality limits will be denoted in this way. Here it has been written as 1 dot dot h that means each and every entity the respective primary key value can exist here for minimum one time and for maximum h number of times. So, that is our 1 dot dot h. This is a this is a case where we will be going for generalization and specialization and it will be denoted by is a. So, there will be one triangle within that is a will be written. We shall have a separate video on this very particular topic discussion you can go through that video to have a better conception. So, these are the very common symbols which will be used in our ear diagram design. I think you are getting this issue. Thanks for watching this video.